Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we have a very special project to do. I have been waiting for a while for this plant to ripen up a bit right there so I can harvest up all the fruits. And once I harvested all of the fruits, I'm gonna chop that down and I'm gonna chop this one down and I'm gonna switch it. So what we're gonna do is graft that onto that and then that onto this. The plant on the left here is my Super Pekin. And uh, as you can see, the the plant is, uh, the trunk is very fuzzy. Uh, I'll, I'll take you closer so you can take a look at the, actually it's not very visible, but the trunk is very fuzzy. It's sort of like a pubescent, uh, kind of like type tree almost because of all of the, the hairy uh, fuzz on, on the stems. And this plant here is a Crimson Star, that is the F3, so fruits for those will go to the F4 plants that I will be growing this season. And these are supposed to be very large fruits and they all have little tiny stingers. And this is a personal cross of my own and I've been working on this for a while. Um, the reason uh, they're so small is because as you can see the container is not very big. and the amazing thing about this plant is that it grew uh, all through winter outside and uh, I, you know I can't believe that it uh, actually made it through. Um, te sometimes temperatures drop down to about 35, 40 degrees and it's, it just sit outside and it's doing fine. And then recently uh, when it started to fruit I took it inside because I really want those fruits uh, for seeds. So anyway, let's go ahead and begin the grafting process. And I'm gonna use very simple stuff that I find around the house. So I'll show you what they are. All right, the first items you're going to need, of course, is going to be two plants, uh, preferably different varieties because you want that variety to mix with this variety. So the bottom would be a, a different um, color fruit and then the top would be a different color. So that's that's the preference. Um, I mean, there's no point using the same variety. It's just, and unless you want to test to see if you can do it correctly, but two different varieties. Uh, these are the Super Pekin, so they're very tiny fruits. They're like Pekin size, so they're like uh, bird peppers. I mean, these are, the, these are super large fruits that uh, have stingers and they look very, very cool. So that's item one. And you're going to need Ziploc bags because we're gonna cover the plants to keep moisture in. That way uh, the success rate is better. And then some sanitizer because we're going to sanitize the equipment that we're going to use. This is the graphing knife that I'm gonna use, but you can use anything that is nice and sharp and uh, that are small enough to split the plant in half. Uh, I use super glue because um, that's gonna be for the tape these are plant tape and uh, I don't have any more so these are going to be recycled. Uh, if you don't have plant tape you can use anything else. Uh, I found this here. This is for uh, I think wrapping stuff or whatever. Uh, they're just kind of like tape stuff and I think I'm going to use this since I don't, I don't have any more plant tape. Okay that is all of the items that we're going to use today. So first what I'm gonna do is pick up all of these fruits here from this plant. So let's pull these off. Look at this pretty fruit here. See those tail there? And these are really, really hot because they're the super hot variety. And I have three right there. So the, this uh, type is, um, very spicy and the color is very unique because it's, it's, it's not completely red. Once um, it uh, ripen up completely, it's almost like a pinkish red, reddish color. And right now it's kind of like an orangey color that looks like kind of like, like jello. So very cool looking. So when selecting your plant, you want two plants that have sort of like the same size trunk because that is the best way to graft these um, together because if they're different size, it, it's a little bit difficult to do. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna use our sharp tool here, and then I'm going to just sanitize it real quick. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to cut this plant down here. And I want a good length because uh, if I happen to mess up, then I can still work my way up and then uh, have a better chance at it. So we don't need these top leaves here. So I'm gonna pluck a few of these off. They're gonna, some of this will fall off anyway, but let's take all of the big leaves off. And then there are some flowers on here, which you don't need those because they're gonna fall off for a small plant that does have a lot of flowers. Okay, and we are going to cut this plant down. I think I may need a, a pair of scissors because this one is a little tough. Okay, I have sanitized my scissors now and I'm going to cut this plant down and then we're gonna graft that onto this one. And there it is. We'll just leave that here for now. And then what we need to do is we need to pick pick this off here because we don't need those and then we're going to need to make like a taper cut around here just let's cut this off for now okay and then we need to do an angle cut okay just like that Okay, we'll put that aside and then we're going to do this one as well. So for this, we need to cut it pretty low, like around right here. There. And we're going to have to take all of these leaves off and then we're gonna need to make an angle cut just like the other one this one is much softer so I have to be very careful. See those fuzzes on here? Okay, now we need to make sure we split the plant down the middle. And this is a very tricky part, so trying to do it right down the center. These plants are very soft, so you have to be very, very careful. And you want en enough so that you can insert this in. And then make sure everything makes contact. Like that. Okay, so what we need to do is use our tape uh, 
I'm going to use this here and then we're going to apply a little bit of super glue to here to keep it sticking. And then we'll need to let's let's make this easier by clearing this right here. Right, just continue applying a little pressure to keep the the joint here closed. Make it a little tight, but not too tight that it would damage the the plant. You just want the parts to come together, make contact with with each other. Okay, that should be good. So let's put some glue here. Close it and then we'll cut off the excess here. All right, so that is our first graph. So, what we want to do is cut off these leaves here because we want the graph to be able to survive and ha not having to sustain or feed all of the leaves. And eventually we'll have to top this. So there's some flowers on here. Um, those can be picked off. Okay, and then finally put our Ziploc bag on. And that should keep the moisture in so it can stay alive. And then we'll put this under a light. All right, guys, we're all complete now and the plants are gonna sit here under my arrow garden. So once they make progress, I will come back and show you. So that is all for now. All right, guys, it has been two days now and the graphs are looking great. Let me show you. They're still looking alive. So if you notice, there are some condensation. That is a good sign. That means that the plant is taking up water and it's still alive in there so that's what they should look like and here's the other one and if your plant drooped a little bit that's fine because it's basically uh, having to struggle to get water to feed the rest of the leaves so some of the branches that you do may droop but don't be discouraged just give it time if you do it correctly uh, this part will heal and then water can be taken up to here and then it will start to feed the leaves and they will come back to normal. So the condensation there is a good sign. Anyway, that is day number two. All right, guys, it has been two weeks now and the graphs are doing great. Uh, the first few days, it kind of like drooped a little and then a week after that, it, ba it bent over and it looks like it was dead. But then, you know, I just kept it and kept, let it go and keep going and then it is now back to normal. So this one suffered the worst. It uh, it shriveled up, uh, the, the tops looks dead and then it kind of like fall over it and become really flimsy um, after a week. And then I just keep the bag on, waited for another week and now it is making progress. So it is shooting straight back up and this one basically lost all of his leaves but there are new leaves coming out so um, 
I'll, I'll open this up and I'll show you guys what it looks like today. I'm not going to take the tape off yet because I want it to heal completely. So maybe after a month or so, then I'll take it off. But uh, after the two weeks, as you can see here, they are doing great. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the bag. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at this one because this one made the best progress. The leaves are all still there. Look at that. So there it is. After two weeks. Um, see these fuzzes here? I thought it was all kind of fall off due to the stress and all that. And uh, of course the, the, the fruits or the flowers or whatever. We picked off some and then some that still remain are all falling off right now. But um, it's a life. So there it is guys. So if you guys have... Uh, uh, plants that you're just experimenting with or you have two plants that you're topping uh, try it out because it's going to be a very fun uh, thing to look forward to uh, once the season begins outside so uh, I hope you guys give it a shot and uh, if you have success please let me know and uh, also come join Pepper community so that you can share your photos with me anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe